In this presentation, we're going to look at some settings options, including the billable expenses. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online. Here we are in our job costing company dashboard. We're now going to consider some settings, including the billable options settings. To see the settings, we're going to go to the cog up top. So we're going to select this cog up to the upper right. We want to go to the account and settings. So we're under your company account and settings. And that, of course, is under the cog. And then we're going to go down here to the expenses area. So we want to take a look at the expenses area. Within the expenses area, these items should be turned on up top. By default, I believe the first two are turned on and we need to turn on the make expenses and items billable for our practice problem. The first item says show item table on expense and purchase forms. That's basically going to show that like when you make an expense that we're going to use our items. So we'll be able to, to use items which are obviously are also called um, the service or, or inventory items and, and we'll take a look at what those are later. We're going to track expense and item by customer so we want that on as well. And then we have the make expenses billable. This is by default off. We're going to turn it on for the purposes of our practice problem. So we're going to say we want to, and what this will do is when we enter an expense into the system, let's just take a look at it. Let's close this out and say, I'm not going to save. Do you want to leave uh, without saving? I'm going to say, yes, I would like to leave without saving. Next, I'm going to make a duplicate tab so we could do some jumping back and forth. So this is a very useful thing to do with the QuickBooks Online. I'm going to go to the tab up top. I'm going to hover over the tab up top, right click on that tab, and then we're going to duplicate that tab. So that this allows us to have two windows open and allows us to do some jumping back and forth between those two windows. I'm going to go back to the first tab this time and then I'm going to go and enter a uh, expense item. So let's go ahead and enter a new from the new drop down. I'm going to go under the vendors section. I'm going to go to an expense just to see what the current format of the expense form looks like. We're not actually going to record one at this point in time. We just want to look at, at what the form is like. So obviously we would then, I'm going to close this back up. We would then add the payee or vendor information up top. And then we have two kind of sections down below. We have the category section. So if you paid someone like Verizon, you would enter the category section up top, such as the phone bill. And then we have the items down below. And this is what we're going to be using oftentimes with a job costing system, because we're going to set up these, these items up top product services can also be called items, things that we sell basically. So you might be using or seeing those terms interchangeably. And so, and so notice up here it says item details and, and down here it says products and services. So they're kind of going back and forth when, between those two names for them. But in any case, we'll set up the items. That's one of the options we had uh, that we want to have on and it's, it's on by default. Also note that uh, we don't see any, any another tab here that says like billable items. What we'd like to be able to say is is uh, if we have something that's billable that we want to take and, and say we have an expense for it and we want to pull that expense over, say, to uh, a bill such as what will be created with like an invoice, then we want that billable option here. And we're going to add that now. So let's take a look at that. If I, if I go back to the, first, to the second tab, I'm going to go to the second tab and add the option here so we can jump then back to the expense form and see what the difference is. So then let's go to the cog up top and let's go back on over to our settings. So under the company, under your company, we want to go to the account settings. Then we're going to go back on down to the settings, which was under the expenses area. So we want to go to the expenses area on the left hand side. I'm going to close this up top and then we're going to go to the expenses. So we're in the expenses area and then I'm going to turn this on now. So, so I want to turn on this item. So I'll check this item and that's going to allow us to bill it. Now, when we bill it, when we pull it over. So if, for example, if I, if I paid like the phone company, we paid the phone company and I check off that I want it to be billable, then I can make maybe basically pull it over into an invoice. And if I pull it over into an invoice, I can put it on there at the cost, or I can basically mark it up. I can choose to mark it up and say, I want to include the cost plus the markup. So I'm not going to check that off here. Track, track billable, or I'm not going to add any, any markup, right? Track billable expense and items as income. Uh, we have in a single line or in a multiple line. I'm going to keep the default as a single line. And then if sales tax is applicable, you can take a look at the sales tax. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. 
Now this item is on, so that should be on now. And then I'm gonna go back to the expense. So if I go back to the expense, if I try to refresh it by clicking this little refresh button, let's see if that does it. Let's see if that repopulates the information and adds the change to it. So I'm gonna hit the refresh button, or you could just click the entire URL if you so choose, make it you know blue, and then hit the enter button and that should refresh the screen as well. So once refreshed, we then see another column over here and that's gonna be the billable column. So when I enter something, I can then check it off as billable and we also see a customer. So we're gonna say, for example, if we enter the telephone bill, I say, hey, this is the telephone bill, but I was on, I used the telephone bill for whatever reason for a particular customer. And then I wanna pull it over as billable, meaning I wanna pull it over to an invoice at a later time and then assign it to that customer which I'm gonna pull it over for. So if I then made it billable to customer Sam Smith and then made an invoice for Sam Smith, then I should be able to pull over this item which I paid for, the phone bill, to the to that to that customer. So we're gonna be using those or we may we're gonna be using those at a later point uh, in, in the problem. And so you wanna just basically be aware of those uh, of those billable items. And uh, if you don't see this billable column or the customer column, then you want to go into the settings and that's how you turn those on and off. That's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.